Hello there, welcome to the fourth episode of Ghost of a Tale. So I'm recording this before the Christmas holidays, but I'll be going home for the holidays, and by the time you watch this, it might already be 2021, so I don't know if I'll be able to edit this video and get it out during the holidays. I'll try, I guess, but... Uh, but yeah, I'll be back home and I won't have the same um, new machine to work with. But I have something, so so I should be able to see what I can do. Maybe maybe I will get this out during the holidays. Um, so yeah, so last time we left off with... Um, we were able to find Faustus. And we got the anti venom bio uh, for spiders we're still looking for the last armor piece the greaves and i might have an idea where that is it's um do you remember that armory that we've haven't been able to get into well i have a feeling that that guard just before the armory in that tower a staircase might have the key so i would see if I could try and pickpocket him but other than that um, I don't really have any more ideas all right well there's also a lot, a lot of other things that uh, we can do like collecting mushrooms collecting finding the last uh, beehive but I'm not sure if we'll get around to do all that. Maybe we will, depending on uh, how much luck we have fighting the Greaves. So, all right, let's get started. Yeah, I don't exactly like how these Henleys... Like, one flap is easier to fold over than the other. But anyway, looks like we are morning. We are this is the morning. Holy crap. You can see that ladder. This place is dark. Yeah, maybe it's I'm just meant to be uh, this dark. Why is there that have this cursor here? It wasn't always there. Alright, so let's see if we can get to that armory. Where do we go actually? Up here. So I think this is the way to go. Or is it? Whoa. Where did he come from? He wasn't always there. Alright, so the armory. How do we get there? Oh, I think it was back in the courtyard. I mean, not the courtyard, the uh, the garden. I'm a bit lost.
Is he gonna come all the way over here? Maybe not. Alright, so through this door, I should be able to get to the armory. I just need to be careful about that guard and patrol, that one. I think I remember seeing another switch somewhere. Let me turn this off. Okay, maybe we can pickpocket him. Got his handkerchief. There's nothing else. What if I use this? Ooh. Oh, there you go. The bottle won't work, but the uh, the slime jar would. So that's the way to do it. Use the slime jar. Cupboard is empty. So maybe the greaves are here. Ah, there we go. Guard grease. We'll take some florins. There's a warning. Present is an extremely volatile substance. Do not strike or shake, do not carry alone. Light fuse with candle or fire steel. Use with caution. All inquiries regarding Bryson's should be addressed to the smithy at the forge. Okay, so we have to be careful with it. Whatever this Bryson's substance is. Um, so we need another key to get through here. Armory magazine key. I don't know where we would be able to get that. All these shields. Okay. That was easy enough. We're back in a courtyard somewhere. Damn it. Alright. Now might be a good chance to, uh, where that's set. A pair of greaves from a guard's suit of armor. Intended to give protection to lower extremities, greaves have been an essential part of the rat guard's battle dress since the soldiers of the Ninth Garrison were literally brought to their knees during a disastrous encounter with the diminutive shrew knights of three. Many shins paid a heavy price for the Red Paul's arrogance that day. All right, let's suit up while we're in this barrel. Scrawny rat guard. Wait, can we save? Let's quick save this. Hello, recognize me? You mean a dancer? That's who you were searching for? Wait, Mera is a dancer? She's lucky to have you looking out for her. Still, I couldn't keep her safe. Tell you what, if you can bring me a hand of 12 fate cards, I'll do a reading for you. Maybe I can alter Mera's fate. Alter? Is that the wrong word? Divine? Foretell? 
You know what I mean? Oh, hand of cards let me glimpse the world outside of these walls. Maybe, maybe Maria. Alright, so... Any random cards? Aye, they call it the hands of fate. The hand of fate. Okay, so I have the fate cards. We actually have more than 12 here, but it won't affect the reading. Good. Now give me a moment to unravel the threads of fate. Boy, what are you up to? What do the fates say? Mera is alive. Tell me where she is. She's between two fates, lost in the split of the deck. It's not clear. What do you mean? Her fate is still undecided, but she is alive, I promise you. How do you know my name? I saw you and your wife play at the port a few years ago. The audience couldn't take their eyes off you. It made it easy to pick their pockets. Can't you sleep? Who are you? My Uma? <laughs> Alright, forget it. Wait, if you want to talk for a while, really, or whatever, I don't mind. So do you want to tell me what it is that's keeping you awake? Why? What difference will it make? Alright, if I can help you sleep three nights, will you tell me what's wrong? Fine, if it makes you feel better. I can sing you a lullaby, a lullaby. Alright, but keep it down. Alright, so which of my songs is appropriate for a lullaby? The Ballad of the Coward King. Doesn't sound fitting. The Gilded Warrior. Murder of Crows, Maiden That Wouldn't Sing, Heaven in a Bottle. The Poisoned Cup, The Rat With Two Tails, Rascal's Whirligig. Um, this is what we wrote with those thieves. I don't know. How about... I don't know, the Coward King, let's just sing some random song, I guess. One thing I learned from our dad. Can you give me another one? What? Renown has dropped to 25. I don't know. How about the Gilded Warrior?
They sing a lullaby this time. Um, that wasn't a lullaby, I guess. These don't seem like lullabies at all. I keep trying. I don't know, um, the rat with two tails. It's not much of a lullaby, is it? Give me another one. Alright, Murder of Crows. Try again. The Poisoned Cup. How about... Heaven in a Bottle? Alright, the maiden that wouldn't sing. This song, it's about you, isn't it? Oh, it is. What happens next? Well, I already sung this to Silas in the second part. I don't know yet. It's a fine song, but I don't think it's going to help me. Okay, now she's... She's knocked out. Okay, let's see if this works. Hello, I'm a fellow guard. Wait, can I... Can I talk to you? Halt, identify yourself. I've not seen you about the keep before. I usually work a different shift. Oh, right, right. Anything to report? A prisoner escaped from the jail. A mouse. Who was on duty? Snorl. Fool was too salvage to notice that cell door was open. Anything to report? Something strange. Some scrunt stole germ squad colors. Who'd want a rat snot rag? Three checkpoint passes have gone missing. Did you hear? I have no idea. Any idea who's responsible? I don't know. Some scrunt. The commander's cancelled all leave for the month because of it. Looks like I'm going to miss my son's birthday again. Anything to report? Let's see. Nothing comes to mind. Oh wait, you're Scow. The commander wants you to report to his office. I'm Scow? Who's the commander? Just look at my character. Could I talk to Discord? Letting me talk to him. What about that other guard that's blocking that door that... That, um... I can't seem to open. Or maybe this guy. I don't know, one of those two. Well, I'll just talk to both of them. Damn, I can't keep up with him. In the suit of armor. Alright, I'll talk to you. Elevator gate guard. Halt. The lower keep and harbor are closed. Commander's orders. Gates closed. Why? Commander's sending a squad into the catacombs to deal with the spiders. The gate and elevator are said to be off. Or to say off limits until then. Private scow, isn't it? The commander wants to see you in his office. <laughs> commander's office. Yeah, it probably looks suspicious carrying this bottle around. Is it night time? Or how about that other gate?
You, yes, you. Main gate guard, halt. The main gate is shut by order of the commander. Nobody's allowed in or out. Why is the gate locked? Jailer's missing. It keeps on lockdown until he's found. I'm due leave tonight. All leave is cancelled until further notice. This gate is closed until the commander says otherwise. Well, the, the jailer is dead. I wonder if he'll get suspicious if I uh, burn this banner. Let's see what happens. No, this is too risky. Guess I can't do that while he's here. Or while I'm in this armor, I guess. Alright, so I need to find this commander. But where is the commander? Maybe let's try walking up these steps. So that's the elevator, and that's where I was before is the main gate. Guess I can't talk. Wait, I can't. There's a prisoner in the, on the loose. Keep an eye out for him. Do you know who he is? A mouse. Nobody important. Anything to report? Nothing so far. Have you reported to the commander's office yet? No. That's what I'm looking for. Where is the commander's office? Commander's office is a commander's guard, so I might be at the right place. What can I do for you, soldier? I was told the commander wanted to see me. Then you must be Private Skull. I have orders not to wake the commanders till morning. He's usually at his desk by six. Come back then. Okay, so this is locked. What time is it? Is there any way to tell what time it is? Maybe not. Alright, I guess I'll have to go to sleep somewhere. I thought it was morning. It's even a good idea to visit the commander. Because he might start asking questions. Wait, where is the... Okay, there it is. I wonder if this will be alarming to Silas. Got the antidote and the armor. 
What do you think? I think you're ready. However, I'm afraid you've been ordered to report to the commander. But what would the commander want with me? A new guard assigned to the keep of from Yuva? I'd be surprised if he didn't want to see you. Guess I have no choice. You'll be fine. After that, you'd best head to the west gate. The squad will be assembling soon. Here. A set of papers folded and sealed with wax. Give this to the sentry. Until you have a chance to slip by, stay close to the others. You haven't told me what it is I'm looking for. Catch. He flips me a coin. You catch it. You're feeling its weight in your paw. Through the catacombs, in the tomb of the hero Dune Lane, you should find a small wooden chest about so big a cross with the same sigil inlaid on its lid in silver. What does the encryption mean? I don't know. Perhaps some kind of offering or prayer? Listen, I'm trusting you with this. You think I'm a thief? I hope you're some kind of thief, or you're no use to me. Dwindling Heights is a treacherous place. Be careful who you put your trust in. Even you? I. Then again? What choice do you have? It's a dangerous world out there. For a little mouse. So I'll have to report to the commander. Thought it was already daytime. That's a red banner. Me again, what is it? I need to speak with the banner. Go on in. been here before guess not doesn't look familiar at all Where is this place? Hairbrush. King's pantalones. This costume is based upon a ceremonial garb of King Nor. The great warrior king of legend. looking around.
local still status report. Instant log. Private Horth given two days in jail for not wearing his full armor in the courtyard. Private Eingar struck and brained by falling drawbridge after windbreak failed. Mechanism still unstable. Private Gath left addled by a falling barrel. Private Fuel wagered two florins he could jump the pit. Funeral to be held tomorrow. Private Scree taken by spiders in the lower levels. Private Pakov slipped and fell on a broken jar of snail slime. Private Snorl, drunk on duty, assigned to the screaming gate for one week. Private Black, struck and knocked, insensible by a flying bottle. Private Niels, charged with theft of official documents and remanded to the cells. I wonder if any of those uh, incidents were my responsibility. Alright, Commander. Ascal, uh, isn't it? You asked to see me, sir? That's right. I must say, we weren't expecting you. Your transfer papers arrived late last night. You're even smaller than they say. Short in stature, but not curd, sir. Indeed. Welcome, then, to the, the Dune Lane Heights. Is it not the Dwindling Heights, sir? No, no, it's a common misconception, a local colloquialism, if you will. You might be interested in to learn that the keep is named for the warrior Dunlan, hero of the War of the Green Flame, and I'm proud to say, an ancestor of mine. You're descendant of the hero Dunlan. On my father's side, it's nothing really. It's said that Dunlan himself is laid to rest in the catacombs beneath this keep, and that on a clear moonlit night his ghost can be seen still roaming these halls. The keep is haunted, sir. So many have claimed through the years. Strange in all this time, he's never visited me. Is that a loot you're carrying there? Aye, right, sir, is it a problem? May I see it? Uh, it's quite fragile, of course, I understand. I'm something of a musician myself. Is that so, sir? Aye, we must play together sometime. Now, I have an assignment for you. Me, sir. You, sir. There is something that haunts this garrison, Scow. But nay, tis no ghost. But the shadow of some sinister cabal that looms heavy over it. You're new here. And the only one I can trust. Our jailer, Tyrus Volker, is missing. Neither seen nor heard from since the last blood moon. A journal was found in his chambers. It described a band of smuggler smugglers operating out of this keep, led by some uh, minimized, some miscreant known as the Master. If what's written here is true, it would appear that as many as five members of this garrison are involved. I want you, Scout, to identify these five smugglers. To find out what has become of the Jailer. And unmask this so-called Master. This is a delicate business, Scout. I expect you to exhibit the most utmost discretion. I suggest you begin your investigation at the forge. I have a feeling the smithy knows most everything that goes on around here. Um. Well, I found the jailer. He's murdered. Murdered? Are you certain? I discovered his body at the bottom of the well, and you didn't think to say anything. Uh, sir, I just I found him just before you summoned me here. What evidence do you have of this? Here, sir, I have the jailer's oboe. This this is this his blood? Thank you, Scow. Should I continue my investigation into this matter? No no, leave it with me, private. Rest assured the killer will be brought to justice. Now, I'm grateful, Scow, for your assistance in this matter. I'd like to do something for you in return. Uh, what do you have in mind? Well, let's see now. Your armor, Scout, is rather ill-fitting, isn't it? I mean, look at you. You can barely walk in it. I can have the smithy make some adjustments. You like, shave off some weight. 
cut down the folds, retailer the greaves so you can move more freely. Oh, and I should have him brief you about the traps, given all the problems we have, we're having with spiders. But one thing at a time, eh? Now, the commander takes a sheet of paper and his quill pen, beginning to write. After signing his name, he folds the paper into thirds and seals it with wax before passing it to you. Take this to the smithy. You'll know what to do with it. Alright, well, what do you know about uh, Silas, the signal guard? Silas Wagstaff? Why do you ask? It's part of my inquiry, sir. I'm glad to see you're being so thorough. He's a good soldier, conscientious, disciplined, tends to keep to himself. Likes to drink... Likes a drink or two now and again, but who among us doesn't? He was demoted a few years back. Some incident in the north, if I remember correctly. One curious thing, he requested his transfer to this garrison, gave up quite a comfortable po post, I believe. Is there anything I can do for you, Commander? Play for me, Scow. Play anything, surprise me. Um, I don't know. The Gilded Warrior, I guess. I escaped this good choice of song, Scow. Have you ever thought about singing professionally, Scow? On occasion, sir. Don't. All right. Um. All right. I guess that's enough of this. Apparently, he doesn't think I'm a good singer. Of course, of course. Oh, Scout, you know, my door's always open to you, metaphorically speaking, of course. The garrison's stretch rather thin at the moment, personnel-wise. I can't guarantee I'll always be here in my office. Afternoons, you'll find me down in the harbor master's office. We all have to muck in where we can. The harbor master's officer? Ah, uh, you've not ventured down to the harbor yet. I believe the west gate is closed at the moment, sir. Of course, the spiders. Well, we'll have to make sure you get the grand tour at some point. Carry on. Well, this commander seems like a nice fellow. Now I need to talk to the blacksmith. And I can definitely use some lighter armor. Excuse me there. Join the red paw, I see. Was well, there something you needed, Private? Smithy, I have orders for you. From the commander. Is that right? He said you'd know what to do with them. I'd like to tell him what to do... ...with them. The blacksmith takes the papers, breaks the seal, and reads... Alright, so I can either work on your armor or teach you about these spider traps, your choice. One or the other? I don't know, I think the spider traps, they're not too bad. I mean, they hurt and slow me down, but you can always heal up. But I could, I think it's better that I be able to move faster in this armor. Let's see, I can shave off some of the parts 
down, rework the chest plate, make the whole thing lighter. Should let you walk more easily, might even let you run for a bit. I need your armor though. For let's say six hours. Alright, take my armor. Six hours then, and not before. Oh, great. Guess I'll put on my ranger. Not when I'm near someone. Who is that? There's more that I need to talk to you about. I've heard talk of a band of smugglers led by the master. You can't talk about this here. Meet me down on the shore after nightfall. And mouse until then, be careful who you talk to about this. Anything else I can help you with? Um, let's see what else. Okay, so I need to give him six hours. What else can I do? Let's check my quests. So, um, maybe I'll just sleep and then get my armor back. Alright, so maybe I'll go get some sleep. I'll help Vitaly sleep her second night. And then I'll go to the blacksmith and get my armor. Maybe from Fatalia I can learn how to like sleep in place or I don't know. Something. So it's 9 a.m. Let's take it to the night. Well, actually, the blacksmith won't be there at night. So let's sleep for six hours, go to the blacksmith. And maybe wait a little bit for night to fall, and then talk to Fatali. Right, time for my armor. Afternoon, Mouse. Did you have a question? How's the work on my armor coming along? All done. The smithy gathers up the various parts of the armor from around the forge and presents them to you. It's not perfect, but you'll notice the difference. I could probably do more given the time. Guess not. So... Alright. Still kind of slow. Probably maybe a bit faster, but really not a whole lot. Still so bright out. Okay, so the curtain is this way. there. Still can't sleep, obviously. Do you want me to tell me what it is that's keeping you awake? Well, it's nothing. Forget about it. Let's talk about something else. Why don't you, uh, or 
As I think I could fetch you, that might help you sleep. There's a tonic my Uma used to make us when we couldn't sleep. Two clutches of beetle eggs. A three-headed acorn. And three sprouts of crimson mushrooms. Do you think you could find those things for me? Let's see what I can do. And don't touch any purple mushrooms. They're poisonous. Boy, why don't you try making a little less noise? I think there's a guard in the commissary that didn't hear you. Or more noise. You still can't sleep? I've tried. Could you tell me a story? Ah, uh, no. I'm not much more of a storyteller. Fine, anything but a dumb... But that dumb lullaby. Gilded Warrior. I wonder if they'll be singing of us in a thousand years. Maybe it's your music or just your dazzling personality, but I suddenly feel very, very sleepy, I guess. You gained health and stamina. Alright, that's the second night. Guess I can't jump in this armor. I told you more than once now, the gate is closed. Here I have orders to join the squad in the catacombs. This is all, this all seems to be an order. Open the gate. Best of luck down there, Scow. Get one for me. Alright, time to meet up with my squad. I don't have a sword. Does this game even have combat? It's already at the top. Oh, well, here we are. Squad leader, who's there? You can't see my sight. Fading. There were so many of them waiting for us. We didn't stand a chance. Where are the others? Taken. Taken. Should I give him the antidote? I have an antidote. There was nothing I could do. Filthy creatures swarming everywhere like mice. Mice? Should I give him the antidote? Here, drink this. You gently lift the squad leader's head and pour the vial's contents into his mouth. Thank you, friend. Try to save your strength. It's too late for me. I can feel their venom like ice in my veins. Cold, so cold. Give me, sir, but I must go. Wait, please take this. A key falls from the lat rat's paws and skitters across the floor. I beg you. The others. Kith, Baldo, Scarf. Find them, help them. I'll do all that I can. Beware the spiders, friend. Beware the gallworms. Where are the gallworms? Drawn to the catacomb of dwindling heights. By the stench of decay, gallworms are ghastly creatures capable of decapitating a rat with a single venomous bite. Despite their name, gallworms are in fact arthropods. Those brave souls willing to get close enough to correctly identify and name the creature evidently also lack the common sense required to survive the encounter. Extremely resilient to most poisons, the armored gallworm is most effectively dealt with using explosive prisons or incendiary pine cones, for the toxic vapors emanating from their burrows are highly volatile. Beware the ghost. 
Tell, tell the commander I died well. I gave him a, gave him some of that antidote. I don't know if that means he's going to be all right. Where's my file of antidote anyway? What is this? The bottle of rot gut. Known to dissolve glass. Keys, books, food, clothes, tools. So the coin. The coin's face is adorned with an ornate symbols. They appear to form part of a phrase, though the language is unfamiliar to you. Herbros, Herbros, bearing the monogram of the garrison commander. So is that file of uh, anti venom gone now? Sounds like you to him. Possible that I've given it away. Well, it can't see me, so if I changed to a different clothing. I guess he won't know that I'm a mouse. Who is that? Okay, I guess I can't ask him to sit on this thing and open this gate. Let me check my stats. I am resistant against weapons, fire, poison, and falling. But not poison. Wait a minute. A wooden clothes peg. Okay, hold on. Let me change my armor to something else. Should I wear this or this? More falling damage, resistance. More sprint speed and visual. Heavy urn. So I do have a map of this place. So I came back from So I came from this direction, so maybe if I drop this heavier and I can open that gate. I have enough to trigger this mechanism. What if I put on a full suit of armor? There we go. Alright, let's switch back. Thrown the bolt of pine cone will explode on impact can be used to create a distraction and set fire to braziers and other items at a distance. Hmm. 
I explode this thing, but why would I want to? Holy crap. That was a spider. Did I get poisoned? Okay, is that is permanent? Yeah, the spiders are uh freaky. Wait, so if I were this Sprinting is really slow. But if any spiders, if I encounter any spiders, I have some defense. if I want to go down there. Wait, what is this glowing thing? Great Hall. Doonland's Urn. That. A finery containing some of Dunland's earthly remains. You notice an inscription engraved around the urn's base. Fate makes heroes of the least of us. Hmm. I haven't explored this entire area yet. Get rid of the spider. Oh, crap. That's another trap. Ouch. And I didn't see that there. food. Nearly got me. Hythe's urn. Who's Heith? We find urn, the design of which confluence those containing Dunland's remains. Why are the remains just here? A death tongue mushroom, the cap of a death tongue's mushroom. I thought I had more of these. Hmm. 
another heavy urn. Okay, I need to wear a full suit of armor, I guess. I'd have to jump to get across. So, I don't know, let's see if I could do that. We have a spider and the spider trap. Can I lure him here? Okay, that got him. Is he still alive? Means guards oval catacombs map. I already had one of those. I am completely lost. This place is... Wait, so the catacombs... Great Halls is a... This circle thing. That's another spider, but... I don't see any other traps. So I guess I have to run past them or sneak past them. That was close. I wonder if I can knock him out with a bottle. try. Might only be temporary. Wait, I think I saw his HP go down. Stick. I'm out of bottles, damn it. We can use the slime. Damn it, I'm out of sticks. So I don't think I could fight him. Well, at least I got his HP down. A spark to light a fire.
A spark? I don't understand what you mean, a chord to invite a melody. A melody, would you have me sing? A lay, a name? A lay, you would have me sing your name? A spark to light a fire. Are your spirits a name? Dunlan? Dunlan? Aye. Lay a name. My name is Tilo. Can you tell me yours? A spark to light a fire. Sing a song. Killed a warrior, I guess. Aye, aye. The turquoise ember expands. Glowing brighter, brighter. Strolling faster as it coalesces to form a ghostly figure. Good mouse, what place is this? The tomb of the hero Dunlan. Dunlan, I. I am, I was Dunlan of Dol. Dunlan, are you sister to the great hero, perhaps? Wait, this is. I thought this was a man. You were laid to rest beside your husband. Husband? I had no husband. Are you s sister to the great hero, perhaps? Sister? Nay. Then a daughter. I had no hair. I was the last to bear that name. I am the shade of a warrior, nothing more. How strange to speak and be heard of for the first time in a thousand years. Why have you come here, good mouse? I sense you have questions. In legend, it says you're male. History is built upon... The ruins of the truth. If the song is untrue, what else of the old world has been forgotten? That is a question you must answer yourself. There are others. Are there others like you? My comrade faded long ago. Only their bones remain and dust. You've been alone for all this time. There was a time pilgrims would come in search of my blessing, but none have been here in in. The last was a rat, a good rat. He spoke to me, though he did not know I was here. I was there. His name? I don't remember, but it was a heavy burden for him to bear. The rat that sought your console. What was his name? He doesn't. She doesn't remember his name. His name was sharp at its ends, like the point of a knife. He took something and left something in its place there on the altar. He swore to one day return what he had taken, but alas, that they had has not yet come. Tell me, can all the dead be called upon? All? Nay, only those who die in confusion or, f or profound regret will linger. Why do you remain here still? I must stay here until, until I can remember. Remember what? Something or someone? Someone I loved, I cannot recall. I know you have someone you hope to reach. I, my son, be glad that he is at peace, good mouse. You would not wish this for him. I'm looking for something precious, something lost. I see, though I sense that you... Uh, so, though I sense that what you truly seek will not be found here, I am doing this for Mira, my wife. There are many treasures here. I'm wealthier now than I was ever in life. Strange, I would trade it all for a single word. Memory. To be seen. You have already given me far more. Pray, take what you wish. Forgive me, Lady Dunland. I must go. Good mouse, this vessel contains something of me. At your feet, you find a simple stoneware urn. Strange, you didn't notice... It until now. Pray. Take it. When I am needed, I will come to you. You can leave this too. My mortal remains lie scattered about the keep. I am a part of this place that bears my name. Until we meet again, good mouse. I hope you find what it is you seek. Who's that? Okay, I guess I have to go.
wait so this glowing thing I've, I've seen it like in the jail before before I crossed to the uh that drawbridge was that her so now I have another urn Another of Dunian's urns. A damn spider. Can I get in here? Oh, there's a there's a ladder on the other side. Cause I can't go that go that go that way. I need an urn. A heavier urn to get through that, but there isn't one. So I guess I have to go back, see if I could find... Okay, I'm out of here. Are you serious? Damn it. I forgot about that ledge. Okay, there's really nothing here. I can't jump with this thing. So I'm back here. Hat. Minstrel hat's better. Damn it. 
This looks like a jumping puzzle. What? Okay, I'm taking back all the way back here. Nothing here. What? I see to get up without dying. I died before. But I don't think there's a way I can get across. Guess I'll go back later then. Is that a fish fossil? Carry the chest back to Silas. Where is that chest? Where's that chest? Oh, there it is. I mean, that's so heavy. Maybe this will be... This will provide a... Yeah, this will probably open that door that I couldn't open before. My full set of armor, though.
Holy shit. The great magpie's cry shakes the hole, knocking you on your feet. The chest slips from your paws and splinters against the flagstones. Damn it. Okay, what's that bundle? The bundle's made of a fine hessian cloth tied off in an elaborate knot. You resist the urge to open it. That was a magpie. One giant bird. So now I can't open this gate. So I don't have that. So I don't think I have anything heavy anymore. I guess this means I have to go the, the long way around again. Alright, let's uh, switch back to light armor. Wait, where's that rat? You leave, did he gain his eyesight? Probably should switch back to my soldier armor. see anyone. Silas. Well, to find some be beetle eggs, can you help? That depends. What do you need them for? I'm making a tonic for a friend. She can't sleep. What? Don't expect my help if looking to eat them. Find them yourself. Silas, I have the treasure here. Where is the chest? It broke open. I found this inside. All right. Silas unties the neck of the bag and pulls from it a slim silver cylinder, intricately decorated and sealed at both ends. What's this? No idea. This was everything from the chest. Is something missing? Aye, right, something's missing. I was expecting to find a silver ring like this. The rat pulls a silver band from his pouch, not much bigger than your paw. The brazier's light. You notice fragments. In the brazier's light, you notice the fragments of an inscription engraved across the band's surface. Are you sure it was the right chest? It was the only chest in there. Good mouse. There was once another. Another chest? I only saw one, lady. The chest was taken, but it is not yet lost. Pray, meet me, Anon, in the Watchtower's Belfry. And I will tell you all that I can. Mouse. Tilo. What is it? You were just standing there. There's someone I can ask for help. Why, why don't you go and do that? Silas, where's the belfry? Turn around and look up. You're standing 
blow it. So is that it? Or is that it? I remember there's yeah, there's these stairs here. But there wasn't anything much up here. Inland. Welcome, good mouse. Were we not once acquainted long ago? Not so long ago, but I sense you came in search of answers. Why is it that alone I can see you? It is strange indeed. My loot. Other relatives. Well, my grandmother was known to talk to dead relatives. Nay, you are but a simple mouse. Not you, but something you carry. Here, perhaps, my son's Luca is the cause. You reached into your pocket for Brin's Luca, but the figurine is gone. I'm sorry, good mouse, but there is no magic here. It's gone. Where did it go? I've always felt there was something curious about my loot. Ah, there is something there. My lady, you said there was a second chest from the altar. A chest, aye. A mouse came and claimed it as his own. Are you sure you're not thinking of me? Am I? Perhaps, nay, he was older, a strong mouse. And this mouse, he took the chest, he took many things, but he did not get far. I saw where he fell. Uh, please show me, he's probably dead. I do not recall, my memories are islands in fog. My strongest memory is a memory of a feeling of love. I love for my true love. He is the last thing I truly remember, all save for his name. His name I would give anything to remember, good mouse. Would you find it for me? With my love's name to guide me through this fog, perhaps I can guide you in return. What do you remember of him? He was a warrior of sorts. Yes, a warrior, but not by choice. Come, mouse, look there, toward Velia, the great clarion. The great clarion's the collective name for a ring of massive ancient structures that stand in ruin at the southeastern shore of Lake Velia. Musna lie submerged beneath the waters of the lake or beached upon its shore, their wooden ribs half buried in silt, like the bones of some extinct leviathan. Of three there remains almost no trace, save for the timber pilings they once stood upon. Though stripped of its copper skin by scavengers, the clarion high above the shores of Dunlin Heights is nevertheless among the most well preserved. The clarion's the derive their name from their unicorn, their unique horn-like design, but their true purpose is a mystery to the new age, long since forgotten by all but the magpies. What's with these magpies? Somewhere among the great trees stand an obelisk in memory of my love. I spent centuries walking that glade, searching for him, but alas, the clarion. Find the obelisk that bears his name. And you'll find my true love's name. I'm sure of it. Tell me, what was the purpose of the great clarion? It was a weapon in the War of the Green Flame. Tell me, what is the green flame? It is the absence of thought of reason, 
an all-devouring force. Those who succumb to it are doomed to join its ranks. The green flame, where did it come from? Some believe it had divine power sent to test us. But who can say? Perhaps it was always amongst us. What do you remember of the Battle of Periclave? Impressions, the cries, and the pain of and the wind on the plain. The sheer cliff walls, and Jarlin and Nico, Nikto above. And that sound, the dirge unending. Jarlin, a true hero of rat folklore, Jarlin was general to Rodgar, the first rat king during the final battle of the War of the Green Flame. The general did not survive the war. Contemporary accounts of the Battle of Periclave describe Jarlin sacrificing his own life in order that the Green Flame be defeated. There are some who believe that had Jarlin lived, he may have stood a chance of challenging Rodgar for the crown. But what news have you of the war? The battle was won, the Green Flame was defeated. Defeated? I sense it still. Forgive me, I must go. I shall wait for you here on the steps. Oh, I shall wait for you there on the steps of the Far Tower. So we were already at the Far Tower. I guess last episode. I found, I remember finding two obelisks. So I need to get down to the ramparts in order to get to the far tower. Well, this story has been quite a ride so far. Wait. Uh, rat guard, can I talk to these people? Morning. What is it? Anything to report? I heard what happened down in the catacombs. The squad leader told me you saved his life. He's a friend of mine. I won't forget it. Anything to report? The jailers turned up dead. Hossed down. Well, a better end than he deserved. Anything to report? That's, you know, that's all. All's quiet. So I did save his life. The escape prisoner's still not been found. Stay alert, he could be anywhere. All right, so this is the far tower. Must have gone to uh, pick up that rose when I died the other day. There's no time for sleep. So I need to find an obelisk. I'm pretty sure I read two of them. One's an archer. I wonder if it's Hyth, the, uh, the name of the other urn. Obelisk chest key. Joth, she fought well and with grace. Probably not Joth. Well, this looks cool. It's down there, is that the harbor? ocean. Hey look, let's take a selfie. So 
So this one says Canloon. No creature braver nor more humble. Whoa, I was I guess I was distracted. Didn't see that. Those things really cripple spiders. What is this building? A tower of some sort. There is an obvious entrance. Darn it, those vines. They hurt. Nibble on some carrots. Not even sure if you can even get up there. Oh wait, what's that thing in the center? Like an entrance. I'm looking right at it. Locked. the archer. Put at heart a war by circumstance, spared the torment of the emerald fire by his love's merciful blade. So Hythe has to be the one. It's a description, a warrior by circumstance. Okay, so this goes to the armory. How do I get into the four tower? Maybe I need to take those steps up. Maybe that's where Dunlin is waiting. Yep, indeed. You're welcome, good mouse. I sense you have questions. My lady, I think I have the name you bid me find. A name I hid in the forest. A name I, the name of my love. Then pray speak it. Definitely not Roderick. Hyth. Name of the stone was Hyth. Hyth, you're certain. I am sure of it. Hyth. I, Hyth. This place was named for both of us. How did you meet your true love? We were both of us born within the walls of Castle Dahl, within a year of each other. His father was Chamberlain, mine the steward. And oh, we fought. We were great rivals. The two of us, after father passed away, my family left the castle. We did not meet again until many years had passed during the War of the Green Flame. 
Uh, who was he? He was an architect of the Ring of Great Clarions. I was assigned to be his personal guard. In time, he grew close. The Clarions, they were built by creatures. I, the shipbuilders of Baladon. Shipbuilders. I always imagined they were left there by giants. Not giants, badgers. Though by their deeds, the best of them seemed like giants. The smallest among us are capable of greatness when the need is great. So Hythe was an architect. An architect, a sculptor, an inventor, a musician, and a warrior. He was a great mind, and my love. We were to be wed and keen once the war was ended, but for us it never came. Uh, what do you remember of it? I remember the joy of our love and the pain of his death. Okay, so I should ask her about this thief. My lady, forgive me, but the thief, do you remember now where he is? I, at the gateway of the, to the northern slopes. Gateway to the northern slopes. Where is that? East of here, through the glade, stands a stone bridge. At the bridge's end, there is a door. Beyond that door to the north stands a gateway. Meet me there, Anon. Am I Anon? Where am I? Why is this door still closed? Okay, so I need to go to that gate. Couldn't find many mushrooms or a third beehive. This gate is closed. I told you this gate is closed. A prisoner escaped. I have orders to hunt him down. First, I've heard of it. Until the jailers found the gate stays closed. Okay. Well. We found the jailer. But he doesn't seem to be aware of that. So there's a bridge. I'm supposed to go to the end of that bridge. And that'll take me to the northern slopes. Still confused. Maybe the blacksmith might know. Guards missing in the catacomb. I'm going to find them. Are you now? Dead or alive, they'll be in a spider's nest. Look for spiders, and those guards won't be far away. Alright, was there something else? Rose is like, it's going to cost you four florins. Alright. Let me think. Flowers grow where it suits them. Here, I'll circle some places on the map for you. Anything else? What else you're looking for? Beetle eggs, crimson mushrooms, and acorns. Where can I find them? Get some thought for two florins. Let's see. Beetles lay their eggs in the highest place they can find. Crimson mushrooms grow only on the bones of the dead. As for the cluster of acorns, if you can't work out where to find an acorn, well, I fear there's no hope for you. Alright then, was there anything more you want? Need to find some escape, Scappy. Those free, that's not something I can help you with. Talk to your friend Silas. Wild mushrooms, have you tried the woodlands out by the far tower? 
I was hoping for something more specific, then you're out of luck. Sorry, I can't help you more. Okay, what about... Bee's Nest. It'll cost two florins. Sure. There are plenty of belts around the four tower and down on the northern slopes. You'll need something to knock them down. Careful though, if you get too close enough, they'll find you. Anything else? Puzzle? How can I convince a thief to help me? For two florins, I'll tell you. Alright. It's said that thieves only respect their own. I think I understand. Alright then. Was there anything more you wanted? These strain ring symbols for four florins I can help. I can't say for sure what these symbols mean. Some kind of code? But the numbers look like coordinates on a map. Coordinates? For what? That's for you to find out, you know. Some of these maps have hidden reference grids. Try holding a candle when you inspect your maps. Maybe you'll see what I mean. Alright. Where's anything else? Mm, so if I hold a candle... Oh, now I can see grid coordinates. I didn't even know that was... There was a thing. Both those status support. Port Skarn. Uh... Ballad Honian cargo vessel hijacked. Vessel sunk inside port wall. Altercation at Quay 5 between Chu and Weasel crews. 13 arrests. Bell Quay. Minor incidents. A thief was reported. No arrests. Firms landing. Minor smuggling activity reported. Additional night patrols recommended. Dunlin Heights. All quiet. Yarton on Threve. Quarantine on Yarton extended for a Further, 20 days, 19 new cases of Lassa fever reported through patrol reports. Wild Sunder Crabs now rampaging through the ruins of Thrum. Remaining villagers have finally abandoned their homes. Painbury, garrison commander confirms additional forces from Yuva proving effective in quelling descent. Panbury garrison remains quiet but remains on high alert. Gadwell, Radguard contingent resigned from Gadwell to deal with incidents at Skerat. Room in Panbury, Redpaw presence minimal. Skerat, seven merchant mice assailed on the Skerat road. They were stolen. Additional guards arriving this week to provide escort. Castellbrook, all quiet. Okay, so F23. G10. So I've already solved these. Oh, the armory stairwell. Acorn. There's acorns everywhere here. I don't remember where exactly is the armory. Wait, where is this place? Okay, I've been here before. So this should take me to the armory. Okay, there she is. Oh, hey there. A 
know you're new here, so word of warning, we keep to ourselves around here. It doesn't pay to ask too many questions in building heights. Right. That helps me, if you keep to yourselves. There you are. Wait, isn't this a switch? What does this do? Controls a pulley. What does this pulley do? No idea. Maybe I need to go down there and put something on it. Who goes there, Jarlin? It's Silo, Tilo, Minstrel. Welcome, good mouse. If you have a question, pray ask it. Where is this thief? I don't see him. The thief, the mouse, is here, beneath these rocks. Go take a small army to move this rubble or a cast of Bryzens. Bryzens? How am I going to get my paws on Bryzens? At the foot of the stairwell is the old army. You may find what you seek there. I'm grateful for your help, milady. Is there anything I can do for you in return? I have no right to ask this of you, good mouse. But will you tend the graves of my comrades? So many of them lie buried in these woods. Please light a candle in their name so they are remembered. Pray take this. Feel the cold wet, cold weight of an iron key on your paw. At the foot of Joth's obelisk sits a chest. Inside it are instructions that will guide you in this task. Is there nothing more you need? You have done so much for me, and yet I have one more request. My mortal remains and hides lie strewn about this place. Will you gather and return them to my tomb? I wish to rest now beside my true love. How will I recognize the remains of yours? As yours, they bear my name, as Hythe bears his. If you will grant me this kindness, I will give you something precious in return. Until then, I must remain a shade. Well, okay then. So it's behind this rubble. I'll uh, go down there, blow this place up. And find the second treasure chest. And then I think I'll end it there. It's been a, another long episode. So that thing will hoist anything up. Armory magazine. Where can I find an armory magazine key? I'm being watched. I'm not being watched. Alright, back to light armor. So he was out there, I guess. So I need to get in that armory magazine. But I need the key for it. Oh, here's Fatal. What are you doing skulking around here? You still can't sleep? Wish I could. Perhaps another so. No thanks. That last one gave me weird dreams. Any other ideas? Story? No. I can't tell you. Maybe next time. I need 
Eat the ingredients for the sleeping tonic. They're hard to come by, I know. I need um, another beetle egg and a sprout of crimson mushroom. Maybe Silas might have something to tell me. Any luck? Nope. It's truly is a puzzle. I don't know if there's anything I can do. Alright. Well, I think it's time to edit here. Yeah, so it's been a very interesting episode. We followed this legend of Duinland learned about her story. Turns out she's a female. And she's trying to help us, um, I guess, accomplish our goals. So we found that chest with a uh, with this silver cylinder that we gave to Silas, but it's missing a ring. And we need to find the other chest, which was taken by another mouse. Don't know when. Could have been ages ago. And, um... Yeah, we're still in the middle of tracking that mouse down. Apparently he's dead. And in order to get to him, we have to blow through rubble using Bryzen's, but we're stuck at the part where we don't have the key to get to the armory magazine to get the Bryzen's to blow that rubble. I really like the story development so far. It's, uh, it feels like there's a lot of side things to do, like more rat guards to talk to while you're uh, wearing that armor, some side quests, ingredients to get. And those will take some time, I guess. I'm not sure if I will actually go do those things. Maybe along the way, or maybe I'll do them off camera. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. But yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode, this game so far. I know I have. The story's definitely picking up. Getting interesting. So, um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.